Good morning, folks. Most notable quake yesterday was not the biggest. Five-pointer, well north and western Canada. Iceland continues five magnitude rumbles, but still no eruptions bigger than that fissure breakthrough. Recommended reading and viewing involves merging galaxies imaged via the cosmic lensing effect. Link is found below the video. It was a calm day on our star. Big plasma filaments still looming in eruption threat position today. Here at Earth, solar wind was peaking out in mid-level density and speed, but for a slightly larger spike here and there, we slip back into storm conditions and have remaining instability. And not only can we discuss how the solar wind has produced geomagnetic unrest sands the normal higher readings, and not only might we speculate that it's our weak magnetosphere allowing that to happen, but that the shield may not be blocking all we want it to. Looking at a normal day on the Rio meter, but coming to the last few days, we see plasma penetration to go along with our unexpected geomagnetic unrest. Only minor flaring the last day, but we might see an uptick going right to left here. We have a delta spot departing on the limb. Two dogs in the south aren't making a peep with some magnetic simplicity, but they are now trailed by a fast-growing active region that began her charge yesterday. Kind of looks like lightning. Coronal holes earth-facing are easy to see. In bottom left, you can see the dark patch of the next one coming in. Remember, that one will be of negative influence. They've got some serious force associated with them. Biggest solar pop of the last couple of days actually happened on the backside of the sun, heading perfectly away from Earth. Remember, if that's the case, it will make the same halo CME on SOHO as if it is perfectly Earth-directed, because the CME is traveling on the same line of sight, just in the opposite direction. Kicking to the weather, little golf clap for Noah on the acknowledgement of climate extremes and the use of the terminology. Indeed, this climate story is about more than warming. It's about time for a records check. Over the last 30 days, hot and cold are about even in the U.S. daily records. Of course, over the last year, the cold was more dominant, especially in the eight months of 2014 thus far. Below we find monthly records, which cold also dominates fairly handily. The all-time records are trending about even. The global records tend to show much more of a split story. Heat leads the way slightly the last month or so, but 2014 still belongs to the cold. Of course, over on the right, precipitation records have been annihilating both temperature extremes, but that's another story. Let's check the ice. Up north, the Arctic is still below the satellite average, but more than 50% greater than the record low set a few years ago. 50%. Meanwhile, the Antarctic took a break from setting high ice marks hit last year, but it's bounced between tying and setting new high records pretty much all of 2014, despite the rapid underside melting of one part of the western sheet. This video coming in from Manitoba, fairly significant rainfall and flooding throughout the area. Stepping back a bit, we've got tropical remnants east and west with multiple lows on land, northwest, central, and a northern flow from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to the Hudson Bay. Northwest low could be dangerous tonight, and the heat and moisture heading north will be a problem for much more than just the flood watch zone down south. 25 states could see storms tonight, maybe more, and this will definitely extend north of the border into Canada. That one low, still just stuck over northern Europe, draws a convergence while Mediterranean moisture makes a charge back into relevance with storm alerts posted for multiple areas in the south as well. Down under, that convergence is still north of New Zealand and won't be an issue tonight. Western Australia still looking at that moisture flow, causing some downpours there. We got the global storm watches and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 a.m. Local Time. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.